hey, this is Toby and Tommy, and you're listening to Industry Talk with Gospel Artist Entertainment. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Aldrin McCuller with Gospel Artist Entertainment, and you are listening to Industry Talk with me on today. Listen, y'all, I'm so excited that y'all are back with me and for um, Industry Talk, and I'm so happy because, y'all, we have some incredible people on the phone. They're sisters. Um, they are amazing. I love their ministry. Everybody loves their, um, their ministry. And, you know, I'm just so grateful to even know them because you don't come across, you know, a lot of humble and down to earth people nowadays. And to know that there are still, you know, people that are like that, it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. So I'm so excited. Um, they are, I'm going to talk to you all today about, you know, today's current events and their music or whatnot. And so my special guest today is the incomparable, the incredible, the awesome duo, Toby and Tommy. What's up, y'all? Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> no name. Hey, now. How you doing? I'm so good. How are y'all today? We are well. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Awesome. I'm so I'm so excited to know that y'all are well and I want to appreciate y'all for taking the time out to talk with me on today. Thank you so much. Thank you for yeah, having us. We really appreciate it. For real. This is what's up. <laughs> most when definitely. Yeah, most definitely. And I, you know, when I first I'm gonna tell y'all something before we get started. You know, when I first met Toby and Tommy, you know, I was already, I had already fell in love with their singing, but when I actually met them in person, it was just like, you know, it was like a really warm feeling on the inside because I never met anybody who were, you know, had pretty much, you know, all the qualities, you know, they, they, they're some gorgeous women. <laughs> They are humble. They're down to earth. They can sing. I mean, not sing, but sing. And, you know, it's just amazing to know that, you know, there are some genuine people who not only look good, but they can sing as well. So, I, I, you know, I just had to share that with the audience, you know. Oh, so. you're making us blush. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much. <laughs> most definitely. Most definitely. I appreciate y'all. Now, um, I want to know. Now, okay, so everybody, they have some music out right now. And um, I want y'all to be able to go and get their music so... Tell them, um, tell the audience about y'all music and what y'all have out right now. Well, we right now we have our new EP. Well, it's not new. Well, yeah, it is new. It came out November uh, 2016, um, and our EP is called Live Up, and uh, we were so excited to release that um, in November, and so it's out and available now. You can get it on all of the... Um, uh, outlets, uh, you can get it on iTunes, you can get it on CD Baby, you can get it on um, everything that you can look up to get any type of music from. That's where you can go and get the music. So um, we are just excited. We want you guys to go out and listen to it and give us your thoughts and give us how you feel about it. We feel great about it. We're just excited for you all to get a chance to hear what we've worked so hard for. I mean, tell me, how long did we work on that music? Oh my God. Like what? Three years, three years. Yeah, three years. So it is out. It is available. So please, please, please go out and go get the music so you can take a listen. Wow, that's amazing. Listen, what motivated y'all to start working in ministry or what gave y'all the courage to want to start singing and performing before the people? We started when we was little girls, um, and we sang with mom and daddy, huh? Come on. <laughs> Mama and daddy, um, we sang in our local churches, and um, we sang with our family, because our whole entire family can sing. So um, singing was a given, but ministry kind of kicked in for us. Um, when we got a little bit older, we went to community choirs and started reaching people of our age and ministering for the Martin Luther King celebration. And we saw how that affected people and were helping people in their lives. So that kind of got into us young. What well, told me was about, what, 9, 10? Yeah. Uh, 
was very young. Wow. So mm-hmm. we were in our community choirs, and that really touched us uh, as far as helping people, ministering to people, and seeing the difference that it made in people's lives just through music. So that has been something God has blessed us with to be able to do now um, full time. So Toby and I grew up, we are like best friends and we're yes. just singing together now as far as being able to reach people regarding whatever issues going on in their lives as far as the medical issues, you loving on yourself, encouraging yourself, self-esteem, wow. um, all those all those type of things. Um, people with broken hearts, broken homes, um, marital issues we've kind of went through all of those personally and have the opportunity now to minister um through song which opens that door to minister to people personally as well so now we kind of just grew into it from youth being around young people and ministering to them now until now because we ain't as so young now we ain't as young now (laughs) (laughs) y'all still look young so (laughs) i know y'all you <laughs> wow, that's um, that is so awesome. That's amazing. Now, um, have y'all always wanted to be um independent artists, or have y'all always wanted to sing background? Because y'all, they are a part of Donna Lawrence and Company, and they. When I tell you, okay, so be- wait, let me go back. Let me just, I'm gonna just brag on Donna Lawrence and Company for just a minute. Listen, <laughs> when I tell y'all. Company, they are literally one of my favorite background singers ever. And I'm not just saying that. Um, I think I said that before, but literally, when I tell y'all they have a unique and different and incredible sound that is very, um, it's very distinguished. You can't help but to, you know, go crazy oh. over their sound so i just had to kind of you know let them know that because if for those of them that don't know about Donna lawrence and company and they ain't really just paid attention <laughs> listen y'all are incredible <laughs> thank, thank you so much Donna thank lawrence you. is an absolute genius the way yes. he structures things he just knows how to put it together and we thank god for the ability um that we can be used to help create that sound that he wants it's awesome working with such a humble, intelligent, and, and God-fearing man is awesome. And it comes through his music. And to be able to be a part of that, I wouldn't trade it for nothing. Wow. That's right. That's amazing. Yeah. I, I love it. Okay. And, you know, Thank I you just... For the yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all amazing. Toby and Tommy, yeah, yeah I remember, I know how y'all, Toby, Tommy, Latrice, Dante. <laughs> yes, yes, that's him right there. <laughs> the squad. I yeah, love y'all. Squad. I, I love y'all, and I appreciate y'all ministry. Have y'all always wanted to um, be independent artists, or have y'all always wanted to just sing background? Well, I mean, I will say this. In the in the very beginning, of course, when we first decided, hey, we're going to come out as Toby and Tommy, uh, of course we wanted to be signed, and we wanted to be like, yeah, we hope this, we hope that. Um, but you know what? Throughout, you know, the process of, of Toby and Tommy, just us learning each other, learning the industry, you know, we just decided, you know what? This is like a God assignment, and wow. we're just to the point where we're just we're ra- we'd rather be right now just independent wow. um, because we're on an assignment. Um, but of course, in the beginning, of course, I think everybody that comes out that find themselves singing in the mirror when you're little with a brush or something, <laughs> you're like, I'm gonna grow up and be a star. You know, I mean, my sister and I, we we used to do that when we were, you know, when we were younger. Yeah. So, of course, we, we would, you know, be like, we're going to be signed. We, we want to be, you know, superstars. Yes. But as we grew and as we um, grew older and had the opportunity, of course, to know God more, get closer to God, to learn, uh, you know, us, even though we're sisters, we still had to learn each other individually, like her thoughts, my thoughts, how she feel, how I feel. And I think we've just come to the point where we're like, you know what, right now we'd rather just be independent artists because we're we're noticing that we don't want any limits on mm. our ministry. Right. We really want to do what God has called for us to do. And nothing against anyone that is signed, 
But if God says go, we want to go. Mm-hmm. And not have not have a limit on, oh, we can't go because the label A, B, C, D. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's just kind of a thing right now. We're just in a season where we're like, okay, God, what you say do, where you say go, we're available to do that. And we want to be obedient to what he says and not what man says. So it's which, like we're on an assignment right now. Which came into the background but the background singing aspect of it is too, uh, because you know, help being able to be there to help bring some well, someone else's vision to fruition mm-hmm. is an awesome feeling. And and Toby and I plus other people that we work with, but Toby and I specifically, we work with a lot. We work with work with almost everyone in the industry. Um, yeah, and we, we've sang with them, and to help bring their vision to fruition. It's, 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 we thank God that we don't have a selfish spirit of like, uh uh-uh, uh, we just want to, no, we thank God that we have the ability to help push them and help their vision come to fruition. That's an awesome feeling. That's an assignment. And God has a work for all of us to do and for us to be able to help and to put that out there, that, that feeling you can't be. You can't be. Right. Can wow, that's amazing. You know, y'all, are y'all evangelists or something? Because I feel like I'm. <laughs> <laughs> you just made me laugh out loud for real. <laughs> I feel like I was in the whole Bible study class. I I was ready to get out my glasses, put it on my nose, and tilt it. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> With my pen and pad. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> Listen, I I don't even know what to say after that because all of that was definitely worth hearing and it was so much wisdom in all of that and I know me personally I learned a lot just by you know listening to you all and you know I I really appreciate that I I thank you for that um do y'all feel like it's easy to you know be able to work in ministry that is easy Right. Is it easy? Do you feel like it's easy to be um, able to just, you know, get into ministry or work in ministry? Or do you feel like that is going to, you know, take a little bit of, you know, circumstances no. and attacks and stuff? Oh, oh, oh. I really want to go there. It takes, <laughs> it takes some serious work. Some praying, crying, mm-hmm. fasting. Um, it, it take it, you gotta have tough skin. You gotta know what God. You gotta hear from God. You gotta be able to move, and and not all the time. But we don't get it right. We right. don't get it right every time. You know, we try to um, hear from God and make those correct decisions because it is tough. Mm-hmm. And, and, and yeah. with our everyday life, of course, we battle with those. Um, decisions that we have to make are we trying to please our flesh are we pleasing god is it something god ordained is it not it's tough and then on top of that if you do what god has called you to do then people putting their mouths on you or people turning away from you or casting you away because you are walking in obedience it's not easy yeah. but no. it is worth it mm-hmm. it's worth it and 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 just to tag on to what she said in ministry we have to understand that every assignment there's an enemy attached to that. Mm-hmm. So it, it, it doesn't matter. Like, it, I don't think it's e- Sometimes we can make it look easy, but trust behind the scenes, there are so many things that are going on. And, you know, like Tommy just said, but through all of that, it's worth it. Right. Whatever comes with, with it, it's so worth it because mm-hmm. through that someone is being touched or set free or delivered or whatever it is that was meant to take place because we were obedient to do ministry. Mm-hmm. It's just, you know, God getting the glory is the best result out of every situation. Mm-hmm. So, yes. I mean, you I know, it, I mean, up and Toby to, to help on that, I'm, and we just go back and forth because it's popping up. I'm sorry, but <laughs> oh, that's I okay. <laughs> when you said it, it is not, it, it may look easy. I believe the anointing on your life, on your gift that God has placed on you. That's why it looks easy. That's why a lot of people try to do it because God has anointed you and the ordination of God. It makes it appear easy, but baby, it's <laughs> not. It, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's not easy. So when I believe you walk in the calling and God anointing you, it comes 
off that way, but there are some trying times and oh, yeah. times. But God, He's ordained it, and you shall you you'll overcome. You'll come through it. Yeah, I, absolutely. I definitely agree, and I agree with you one hundred percent. Both of y'all gave some incredible information. I, I I really agree, and like I said, that is what is needed. You know, people. You know, think that it's easy and it's not. But when the anointing mm -hmm. is on you, it makes it look like it's easy, you know. Absolutely. And so yeah. that that right there is definitely much needed. Thank you so, so much. Now, I want to um, go into today's discussion about police brutality of course we've been knowing that you know it's been so many chaotic stuff going on in the world but the main thing is the police brutality and you know we've been seeing innocent lives been taken you know um they've only been doing the things that they do on a normal basis they've been looking normal acting normal and and still their life have been taken so what are y'all out uh what are y'all's outlook on the police brutality that's been going on in today's society? Well, listen, um, nothing first, I'm going to say this, nothing is new under the sun. Right. Nothing. And, and this has been going on for a while, and, and things things progress and get, or get worse if you don't, um, if you don't, if you don't tend to it, if you don't try to fix it or nip it in the butt, it grows. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, and I mean, I don't know every case, but I like it started way back in the day. But there are a lot of cases of, of police br brutality that never came out until now, until everything is coming to the forefront and everything is becoming so blunt and dis disrespectfully just blatant, like right. just out there. Mm -hmm. um, I, I hate what's going on in society right now. It's the way the world is. It's, it's me, myself, and I. No one cares about no one else first of all there's no respect of persons mm -hmm. and 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 the lack of love and respect right is so present to where now those in authority um um this, i mean of course we know that every that, but those in authority have even taken on this, right this act. and it's it's such a sad thing to see in this day mm -hmm. of how um no one has the respect of person or or the love or care to where they can just take someone else's life. Mm -hmm. It's, and I mean, I, there are so many cases. I mean, we can go back, of course, all the way to Rodney King and all the way coming to current. Uh, I mean, just people, so Robert David, and all of us, everybody current is just, it's, it's crazy. And it's, if we don't, as the body of Christ, begin to come together and 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 come to god in prayer it's gonna get worse right if i believe prayer and calling on a savior is going to make a difference but it's sad to answer your question it is heartbreaking to me it is it is it's heartbreaking and to know that <clears throat> i mean tommy and i we have we have boys she has two sons i have one and you know, it's scary living in the times that we're in, you know, like you said, uh, there it's a, it's a lot of people out there that's not even doing anything wrong, mm -hmm. and they end up getting, you know, shot or right. uh, beaten, or, mm -hmm. and then if, if, if they do die, there's an excuse for it, um, there's no justice for it, and by me having an 11-year-old son, you know, all we can do as parents uh, is teach our kids to to be obedient to the law, even though it's scary in the time that we're living in, because even if you are doing right, you know, for whatever reason, you know, the, the officers are just now afraid of color. Right. You know, oh, I, I thought I thought you had a, a, a gun and it's a cell phone, or I thought you was going to, you know, it's just, it's, a, it's crazy how the world is. All we can do like Tommy said, and really come together 
and pray. Um, but I have to say this. The signs of the times is here. Oh, yeah. The, you know, the word of God said that these things will take place. Mm -hmm. And it's taking place. And we have to understand. We have to open our eyes and pray like never before. Mm -hmm. And plead the blood over our families and our loved ones. Because the times we're living in right now, it don't matter if you're right or wrong. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. That's literally, you could be at a stoplight. Mm -hmm. And your tail might be out, and the next thing you know, someone is a dead. Right, yep. So, mm -hmm. those are the times that we're living in, so we just have to pray. Mm -hmm. And just plead the blood of Jesus over our lives, over our family lives, that God will cover us and keep us, because times are just bad right now. I mean, mm -hmm. the law, have, they wear body cameras. Mm -hmm. But that's not helping. Right. That's not helping. That's not changing anything. Mm -hmm. uh, people are still not getting the justice. We're still not getting the results that we need to receive because they're covering it up. Mm -hmm. The law is covering it up and saying it's not their fault when it is their right. fault. Yeah. And, I, and me, if I could take it back and just, I mean, right now, a lot of things is we're we're catering to a lot of symptoms and not getting to the issue at hand. Mm -hmm. And and to me, it's deeper because the spirit of today, you know, the men we have men are going to become lovers of themselves, so they're being selfish. They're they don't have any self respect. They don't have any self love. They don't have any of that. So what makes you think they're going to care for somebody else? Right. And we mm -hmm. are we are catering to all of these symptoms, but not getting to the true yep. issue at hand. Yep. Wow. We, we are catering more so to the symptoms versus really trying to get to the issue at hand with this, the lack of love and the lack of self-love uh, self and, and respect. And, and because we have become lovers of our own selves, we, we prefer ourselves over someone else. Right. Listen, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and your feedback to the both of you. Thank you so much. I definitely received something out of this. And I know that if I received something, there are many people out there who also received something out of this and they were blessed by it like I was. So thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and your feedback about this. Listen, where can they go and get your music and where can they go and follow you and stay connected with your ministry okay well you know you can get our music um on all the digital outlets uh, that's up uh tommy help me with some of them i know it's itunes uh yeah. is it google? google play yeah yeah um let me see cd baby all digital outlets you can reach on all digital outlets look it up yes yeah. yes and then outlets. Yeah, and on social media, um, it's Toby and Tommy on everything. So that's T-O-B-B-I and A-N-D, and then Tommy, T-O-M-M-I. That's on the Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So. Awesome. Y'all need to go and get their music. Stay connected with Toby and Tommy. They are so awesome. They're amazing, and I promise you, you would definitely enjoy their ministry and um one more thing before we end it do y'all have any encouraging words that you can give to anybody who may be facing any situation or obstacle out there well yes i'll go and then i'll let tommy go this is toby um i just want everyone to of course be encouraged and realize that there are times you're going to have to encourage yourself and whatever you're going through, trust me, God is intentional and, um, the things we face, it's necessary. Right. They're happening for a reason. A lot of times we may not want to accept it, uh, because it hurts or how it may feel to us, but it's so necessary for it to take place. So that newness can come and um, just be encouraged and allow God to do a new thing in you. Right. And I just want to, you know, encourage everybody, just whatever you're facing right now, you will overcome it. But you have to stay focused, Right. not focus what's going on around you, but focus on God that's in you. So that's what I want to say. Awesome. 
Well, I just did all of that. I mean, <laughs> this is the time. <laughs> it's, I mean, this is the time we are, are going through. But um, James tells us that we are, that we may fall into God's temptations, but we need to count it all joy because God is intentional, as Toby said. And he does things on purpose. He doesn't just allow the enemy to come into your life because he ain't got nothing to do in heaven. Mm -hmm. He is doing something to work out for your good. And it's going to be perfect. God is going to have you uh, doing what you need to do, get you on track. But he causes those things to come into our lives to sharpen our character so we can learn that we can trust in him and believe, keep believing in him that he is going to bring the best out of whatever it is. So don't get your head down. Lift your head up. Be encouraged. Encourage yourself. Know that God is in control. And don't faint. You shall reap in due season. Don't and we just we love everybody be yourself be bold be beautiful and god continue to bless you and we love you encourage you that's right amen that was an encouragement to me as well. God bless y'all. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> well, y'all, y'all heard it from the mouths of Toby and Tommy. Y'all definitely be encouraged. Don't give up. Hold on to God's promises because he will definitely make a way out of no way. He will bless you and he will allow you to see things that you have never ever seen before and he will make your dreams come true all you got to do is just hang on in there <laughs> That's it. hang on in there so thank you all so 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 much y'all unfortunately this is our time we are going to end this but until next time thank you all so much for tuning in for gospel artists entertainments industry talk with my girls the one and only the beautiful <laughs> Toby and Tommy. Hey, all right. <laughs> love you so much. Love you so much. I love y'all too. Y'all, everybody stay connected with Toby and Tommy. Go get their music. Add them to your playlist. And you would definitely enjoy that ministry. Once again, this is Aldra McCullough with Gospel Artists Entertainment. You are listening to Industry Talk with my special guest today, Toby and Tommy. We're out.